part two, Andre's Paddle by Andrea Cubis. So this picture, again, is the picture Andre took um, and his wife lent to me so that I could do this painting um, as a commission piece for her husband's birthday. As you can see, this is part two, so I've already done most of the background work with the trees. And now, um, after doing the, sorry, the trees and those lily pads, now I'm working on the water. And um, this water took me a moment to kind of get my head on because at first you're gonna see I create these waves and you almost get the sense that I'm on this beach during a storm because the waves are so big. And that was not what I was trying to do. In, in the original picture, the waves aren't really waves, they're more like ripples going across a creek, mainly because this picture is in a creek. So I had to work this back and forth because those ripples were just nicely catching the light from the sky and it was that white light that you can see off there in the horizon. Um, but it was definitely a going back and forth between the blue of the water and the, the white of the light and trying to balance it so that these waves didn't look like they were like crashing into the kayak. Um, which you can't see the kayak yet. It's coming. It is coming. I promise. Um, but as I, I kind of kept going back and forth, I wanted some of those ripples to go into the reflections of the trees, but I had to be careful to not actually have it go over one of the lily pads. Um, so that was, this is why it's going to take a while. And I apologize. I sped this up because I thought you guys might get a little bored watching me make some water. Um, so in the meantime, let me talk about Andre. I met Andre, oh, eight years ago, seven years ago. Anyways, the poor man met me when I was pregnant and um, anyone who met me when I was pregnant knows I was a little crazy. Okay, I'm still a little crazy, but um, I felt like I was a little more crazy then. Um, when I came back to work, um, as I'm sure many of you know, I'm a teacher. Um, when I came back, I found balancing work and home very difficult, and Andre was a huge supporter. Uh, he was the business teacher at the school, and I mean, my goodness, this man was making gold out of mud. He was given absolutely nothing. It was a brand new school, and he was told, teach business with nothing. And he did, and, and mainly because he cared about those students so much. Um, so despite people above us, way beyond my pay grade, he was able to inspire those kids in a subject that, okay, I'm going to be honest, I'm not good at business, it's not my strength. Um, but he made it sound interesting, so that's pretty impressive if he got me interested. And he, he was such a positive person for the school. I think he helped more than just me. Um, and I was quite gracious to have met him. I really got to uh, <laughs> know him when I went to a party at his house that probably should have been canceled as I was the only one who showed up. And it's not that nobody else wanted to go. They wanted to go. But that night, there was a major snowstorm. And I actually live pretty close to where Andre lived. So for me, the drive wasn't so far, and it still took me over a half hour to drive to his house. I probably should have stayed home. But I was determined, because I was a new mom, and I had a babysitter, and I was gonna go. So this is when Deanna first met me, <laughs> and they were so gracious, and you could see the way they built their house, because they helped design their own house, you could tell they loved nature. Um, they're right, they get to look out onto this creek area that has all sorts of beautiful birds and trees and water and just gorgeous. And um, unfortunately, in the middle of a snowstorm at nighttime, you really can't see all that. But as I said, they live close to my house. So after I found out where they lived, every time I drove by, it was like, oh, they have such a peaceful home. Um, and I am so happy that they have a peaceful home. And, and now I understand why Andre has kind of that zen about him. I think it's wonderful. 
So Andre goes out in his kayak, and that's the picture I'm looking at. Deanna got me a picture of his kayak so I could try and get it into the painting. He goes out into his kayak and takes these beautiful pictures of the, the area that we live in. And um, it just kind of fits right in with Andre's personality of appreciating the beauty that is naturally around us. And everything about his house and about what him and his wife do seem to center on that appreciation. And I have to say, I'm truly blessed to have known both of these people. So here is Andre's photo showing the beautiful fall colors. Thank you so much, Deanna, for letting me paint this for your husband's birthday. And happy birthday, Andre. I hope you enjoyed the painting.